Hello everyone, it's time for business. My name is Daryl Kwao. Hotel managers are anxious about the future of their businesses as the coronavirus pandemic knocks them out of operations. Some hotels have already started laying off staff as occupancy rate drops. My colleague Charles Aite has visited the Marriott Hotel in Accra to learn how the business is surviving in these challenging times. Empty chairs, lonely poles, dial conference halls. This is what you see upon visiting the Accra Marriott Hotel. This is unusual but expected as the coronavirus pandemic escalates worldwide. Um, I mean, it's been tough business has been really bad. Um, we're almost in single digits now. Um, For hotel managers point. like Frank so Eduardo, this, this unexpected a, lean season has left business, hotels um, with no option uh, but, but to catch uh, down the I mean, cost. Currently, we haven't laid anybody off, um, but we predict that people will start going on leave soon so that, you know, it gives the operation the time to recover. But as you can see, there's, uh, business is very low. So if you, can, if you have, say, single digit percentage, and you, ha you have over 100 staff, then, you know, it doesn't, the ratio doesn't match. And, and it costs a lot. There's electricity, uh, there's, there's water bills, there's so many things that have to be paid for. So, I mean, it just makes sense that the numbers are, are reduced. The hospitality sector is the most exposed when it comes to the transmission of the coronavirus. Marketing and communications manager for the Accra Marriott Hotel, Frank Eduardo, says even though exposure is rife, security has been beefed up for staff and guests. We have put um, measures in place that help. So, for example, everybody knows that every 20 minutes they have to wash their hands, right? It's not something that we take, for, take lightly. Every 20 minutes, go wash your hands for 20 seconds. Because the virus, you know, would still be on your hands or so will not be completely killed if you don't watch for 20 seconds. So that education is going down and it's going down very well. And we are encouraging all department heads to make sure that is being done. And aside that, we have, as you said, you don't want to talk about sanitizers, but they are very important at this time. So there are sanitizers everywhere. Before you enter the hotel, they, you have to sanitize and you come in. And, and the good thing is that we're... we're Looking at your travel history, there are a few questions we ask you when you get to the front desk to see where you've been. I mean, so that in case there's anything, we have the ready available information for the health workers. Um, so we're doing our best to make sure that everything goes well, uh, following all the guidelines that have been set out to make sure that your stay is comfortable. Well, there's a lot of bad news going around in the wake of the coronavirus pandemic, but could there be a good side to this situation and who is benefiting? We'll be hearing from the CEO of Delex Finance, Ken Thompson, in the next hour when we bring you the marketplace. Here's a bit of what he said. There will be some, uh, but there are very few winners. I mean, you, if you look at the telecom sector, I mean, there are a lot of people going to be at home, so they're going to yeah. stay. Uh, but even when I think about that, my warning to those out there that are screaming is that in a recession, this is time to conserve cash. Go sit at home and be on your Facebook and be on Netflix because once your cash runs out, there's no more cash coming in. Mm -hmm. So potentially, there will be more, uh, there'll be more companies, companies in the telecom space. Uh, potentially, companies that do digital finance, companies that are able to sell their products, Basically, also good Okay, good. But this is a time to conserve cash. This is a time to conserve cash. And I can't say that enough. This is a the time to conserve cash. There's more coming up on the marketplace at the top of the hour. Thanks for watching. Sports is up next.